All right, by now, everyone should know about the Google Cloud Data Summit. This is our signature event for all data leaders out there. Last year, Bruno Aziza, head of data and analytics at Google Cloud, introduced this concept to us as his team had just spearheaded the inaugural version of the summit. So this year, the event has returned. And in fact, it's now become an expected and highly anticipated occurrence. And we are thrilled to welcome back Bruno to tell us about what's happening this year in terms of new product launches and awesome, awesome customer and partner news. So Bruno, welcome back. Thanks for having me, Stephanie. So last year we talked and you and the team were just kicking off this event for the very first time. Now it's become the stable uh, industry event for the data industry with tens of thousands of attendees and an impressive set of new products and customers. Then a few months later at Google Cloud Next, you all did an awesome job again with more customer and more new products. In fact, I even had the opportunity to jump in and join our keynote, which was a super fun experience. I know that was super fun to have you. Yes, and now, no later than last month, you also kicked off yet another series, the Google Data Community Summit, where you interviewed Delivery Hero about their data mesh deployment and where you also introduced the new BigQuery migration service, Dataflow Prime, Serverless Spark, and the general availability for Dataplex GA. And then there's more. There is always more, Stephanie. So in fact, over the last two years, We've drastically accelerated the pace at which we connect with the community. You know, our goal really is to provide context around all the innovation uh, that we're introducing in the marketplace. And there are many of them, right? So, you know, we're really driven to provide the community with as many opportunities to engage with us, give us feedback, and perhaps more importantly, really create a platform for the community members to learn from each other. And that includes us. Frankly, we learn a lot from the community in the wonderful way that they choose to deploy our products and, and the services we've built for them. So you're right. In addition to Data Cloud Summit and Google Next and Data Cloud Community Series, just this past month, we're accelerating uh, the pace of how we can connect with the community and, and also increasing uh, the number of times that our Data Analytics Customer Council meets. You know, originally it was a yearly occurrence. Um, and now we have regional versions of the Data Customer Council. So if you don't know about this event, you should apply to join it, of course, because now you can meet with the product team in your region multiple times a month across the globe to discuss our product strategy and, and really tell us how we can be the better partner for your innovation journey. So you're right, Stephanie, there is more. And I believe that more communication is always better. So you know that when we launched the Data Cloud Summit last year, I had a feeling that the community would really latch onto it and they've responded uh, in droves. And so this second year in a row for the Data Cloud Summit, I'm really excited uh, about it. But I got to tell you, we're not stopping here. And, and uh, you know, I don't want to pre-announce anything, but if you're following us, pay attention to some of the upcoming announces. There's going to be more later this year as well. Yes, very excited for that. But let's go ahead and focus on this Data Cloud Summit. What can people expect this year? So you know us by now, and we're all about customers, customers, customers. You know, our commitment, everything we do is for customers and partners, so you can expect to hear from them first. Uh, for instance, you'll hear from Inacio, who is the CIO of Vodafone. Vodafone is a very innovative uh, company. It's Europe's largest mobile uh, communication company. And they uh, show us how they innovate with Dataproc, BigQuery, and Vertex AI to create compelling customer experiences. A great session, great interview to, to watch. Uh, you also hear from Wayfair and how they use data to create more personalized and compelling experiences, but also better customer service. If you're a Wayfair uh, customer yourself, hopefully you see the results of that for yourself. You'll also hear from ING Group's Global Chief Analytics Officer, Karim. In a session with our partner, Deloitte, he explains how the company went about choosing the right data cloud to power their data analytics and AI use cases. Really important to know what are the criteria that you can, should really choose to make the right choice? You hear from Walmart, right? Their senior director of engineering, Bob, uh, comes in and talks about digital transformation using Spanner. Great, great session. And then finally, Forbes. Forbes is the world's uh, biggest business media brand. Their CTO, Vadim, uh, is coming on, on stage with uh, MongoDB to talk about migration, security, cost infrastructure. So in my opinion, you know, all these sessions are must-watch sessions. Maybe watch them multiple times, share them with as many uh, people as you can. And then more importantly, connect and follow those leaders because they have a lot to share and they're great members of the community. Yes, lots of leaders to look forward to. But what about the products, I have to ask? 
Yes, and I'm excited about that as well. You know, bringing a lot of innovation uh, into uh, the market, and more importantly, I think the theme of this moment for us is what we call limitless. In fact, I even have the T-shirt uh, for it. And this idea of of limitless is that if you've been in in the data world, like I have been, or as long as I have been, you know that the potential of your data, the potential of your people is truly limitless, yet the architecture and the approaches of the past really aren't. So they're not supporting us to do that. And we want to talk about how we can help you manage across workloads, users, data of all type, all sizes, all forms, and we know that's really hard for you. And so we've been working really hard to bring solutions together and make you, uh, give you the tools to bring down those barriers uh, between your data, your people, and your workloads so you can reach your potential. So the first innovation is an innovation project called Big Lake. So Big Lake is a data lake storage engine which unifies data lakes and warehouses. Look, we know that managing data across lakes and warehouses can create silos. It can increase risks, costs, and reduce agility for customers. And that's why we're introducing Big Lake because it's a great project that is going to allow you to unify data warehousing and lakes together and also give you fine grain access control and an API interface that spans, of course, across Google's assets, but also with open source formats like Parquet and open source processing engines like Apache Spark. So this is going to open a lot of uh, opportunities uh, for customers that want to unify these workloads. You know, another workload that's important for customers is real time and capturing changes in real time. That's why, you know, another innovation we're introducing, and it's really exciting, is spanner change streams. You know, this innovation is coming soon. We'll let you track changes within your spanner database in real time. So we're talking about inserts, updates, deletes. It writes the changes to downstream systems in real time at scale. It replicates changes from Spanner to BigQuery for real-time analytics. It triggers downstream application behavior using PubSub, and it can store changes in GCS for compliance. So it's really, really great example of what customers need to manage and keep data systems in sync in real time. At the Data Community Summit last month, we introduced this new BigQuery migration service, and at this event, we're introducing uh, Apache HBase to Cloud Bigtable with live migration. That's in GA. And so there's a lot of automation here. The offer automatically creates tables in Bigtable based on your existing tables in HBase. It validates the data integrity during the migration between the source and the target. And so really a lot of great new ways for people to accelerate their innovation and their journey to the cloud uh, for a better future. All right, all right. So, so that's for data of all types in real time and at scale. That's right. And I know it's a lot. And, you know, I want to just take a pause here and talk about why this concept of limitless data is important. You know, I think we've all learned over the last couple of years that the world is digitalizing at an incredible fast clip and that the challenges that organizations have to deal with is not just about the fact that the data is growing itself, but it's about the unpredictable nature of that growth and the unpredictable nature of the data itself. Right. So your data is limitless. And it's coming at you in all types of shapes, in all types of speeds. And so what we hear from customers is that they need more simplicity to handle that. They need a unified platform that, one, is, of course, orchestrated for unpredictable scale type and speed, but also runs at the highest level of reliability so you can truly run your data applications as a business-critical workload. So that's really how we are focused and how we think about it. So give you an example. Spanner currently processes over 2 billion requests per second at peak with up to 5.9 availability. That's really, really quite amazing. And so beyond scale, shape, speed, and high availability, there's a need for customers to operationalize innovation faster, which now brings me to the third innovation that we're introducing around AI. You know that one of the most important workloads that customers come to us for is machine learning and AI. And you know that our AI portfolio is really anchored around Vertex AI. That's our managed platform to build, deploy, and scale models. And it's been available uh, in GA since Google I.O. in last May. And Vertex AI is optimized to work seamlessly uh, with workloads in BigQuery. So at the Data Cloud Summit, we announced more innovation to enable customers to get AI models into production faster and make the maintenance of, of those models even easier. So there's two innovations to pay attention there. The first one is Vertex AI Workbench. 
generally available now. It brings data and machine learning systems into one interface. So you have one now, one common tool set across data analytics and data science and machine learning because it natively integrates with BigQuery, serverless Spark, and Dataprog. So that's a really big deal, I think, for people trying to innovate with AI. The second one is the introduction of Vertex AI model registries that's in preview, and it's going to make it easier for customers to manage and maintain models, right? So Vertex AI model registry, basically it's a, it's a central repository that you can use to discover, use, and govern machine learning models, even the ones that are in BigQuery uh, machine learning. So you can see here a lot of integration, a lot of simplification. Now, this past month, I talked about serverless Spark, as you mentioned in, in the introduction here, and this is the industry's first serverless Spark offer uh, at the event. Uh, we introduced here in preview uh, a pervasive Spark experience. So this is where you can connect, analyze, and execute Spark uh, jobs from BigQuery, Vertex AI, and Dataplex in just a few clicks without uh, custom integration. Again, it's going to bring a lot of this unification together. There's also a lot of flexibility uh, coming in because we also introduced, uh, we also GA a flexibility of consumption. That means that you can choose between deploying with serverless. GKE or compute clusters for your Spark applications. So you can see here a lot of flexibility, a lot of unification, a lot of simplification to the service of our uh, customers' limitless data needs, essentially. Yeah, wow, that is that is a lot coming out. I know. Yeah, <laughs> I know that's a lot, and and you know that's just scratching the surface because I'm not talking here about our new partner initiatives. Uh, we've made a lot of progress there. Uh, over 700 tech partners built on the Google Data Cloud. Uh, we also have news on, on data sharing. Uh, we're also talking about our new uh, database migration program and our awesome, awesome demos. You got to make sure that you catch those because I think you'll be blown away uh, with some of the innovation there. Yeah, I'm pretty sure everybody universally loves demos. All right. So you talked about limitless data, limitless workloads. But what about people? Like, is there such a thing as limitless people? Um, I know we already have a movie about it, but. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we like to call this uh, limitless reach. And the idea here is that your data really touches everyone, right? Your data has the potential to enable everyone. Uh, of course, your, your people, your employees, but also your partners and your suppliers. And it's not just one type of employee, right? It's, it's the data engineers, but also the business users, your executives. So essentially, everyone. And at this event, we're really focused on the unification of business intelligence capabilities. That means bringing Google Looker, uh, Google Workspace uh, Sheets, and Data Studio closer together. You know, we're bringing capabilities that allow you to connect all your people around the same semantics, the same definition, from the information workers that love spreadsheets to the data engineers that are building data-rich applications uh, using uh, LookML. So, uh, for instance, uh, we are now launching Connected Sheets for Looker and the ability to access data models within a data studio. So a lot of unification and really is going to enable customers to interact with data however they choose. All right. So clearly, Bruno, we've covered a lot here today. And as you said, we're just scratching the surface with a few of these announcements that your team is working on this week across products, partners, and customers. So of course, everyone wants to know how can they get started? Yes. And we want you to engage. That's why we're creating as many ways as we can to do that. I would say at least there's three ways, right? So if you couldn't attend the Data Summit Live, you should register anyway because you'll get access to the recordings and all the resources. You'll be able to watch them on demand, share them with your colleagues and friends uh, at work. Second is we want to make sure you subscribe to Data Journeys. This is a program every week. We've created a platform now for customers to come in and kind of confess their do's and don'ts and reveal their architectural secrets uh, for you. We're going to put the link to that uh, down here so you can go in and subscribe and, and watch the videos that are already available. All that is publicly available. And then finally, is there anything that we're missing? Anything that we should be doing that we're not doing to help you just ping me on my LinkedIn profile or directly here. Uh, we want to know how we're doing and uh, we want to see what, what else we can do uh, to help you innovate with data. All right. Well, we covered a lot here today. Everyone look forward to the Data Cloud Summit. Thanks again, Bruno. Thank you, Stephanie.